This abundance of knowledge has left us feeling we know everything about everything. That it's good, it's dangerous to think one can learn everything from just a search engine. The internet is a great resource, but it isn't the only one. Before the advent of GPS, people studied and interpreted maps and used their imaginations to picture their landscapes. This allowed you to see for yourself a variety of different routes and how far you needed to travel. You could then immerse yourself in the details so you'd know where you're going. Not being able to relax is a primary reason why many people suffer from stress and anxiety. We are constantly on call and never fully relax in a world where we're always connected and expected to reply right away. Relaxation and self-care are crucial components of a healthy lifestyle because we need time to reflect on our lives, recharge our minds, and replenish our bodies. We're so accustomed to immediate gratification in the digital world that we can't help but get frustrated when things don't happen as quickly as we want. This leads us to act out, even if it means hurting ourselves in the process. What's worse is that we're so obsessed with what everyone else is doing on social media that we forget to live our own lives. Everyone wants to lose themselves in a book. It's hard to stay focused on reading. Some reports say Americans spend only 14 seconds on a page before switching to another task. That's an entire generation used to read at a glance. The problem of skimming is worse today than it was in the past. Digital multitasking prevents human brains from fully engaging in activities. This is why it's so hard for people to concentrate and pay attention for extended periods. Can using GPS change our brains? While it's true that technology can lead to positive changes in our brains, those improvements are not permanent. Taxi drivers with an enlarged hippocampus often return to their original shape after they stop driving. This suggests the brain can't adapt to technology. The way we learn and acquire knowledge has transformed in the digital age. Whether it's uncovering information or learning new skills, you've likely turned to Wikipedia, YouTube, or some other form of Google search result. One of the many significant problems is that having a reference point like Wikipedia becomes a powerful crutch. By taking learning material at face value, typically without context, you're removing all sense of critical thinking. Books are not just a collection of words and thoughts. They are the life story of an author and their voice, which is why we read in the first place. Google Books may be a fantastic tool for finding information, but it doesn't offer an emotional experience. No matter how much data you wish to compile, books are meant to be experienced as singular pieces of work, without being reduced to mere data bits. 